So here we are a few days later, the newer budget amplifier <laughs> arrived. So we're about to test it. Enjoy. There it is. The new beauty beast arrived. As simple as that. That's pretty much it. Let's see what it can do. So two news, one good and one bad. The bad news is this does not actually work. As you can see, it has no turn on button. So you'll have to turn on the volume button, which, which clicks like this. Yeah, so you should turn on this little screen. But as you can see, it doesn't do anything. No buzzing, no nothing. So this is the only power source it receives. So it's not working. Good news is I made this one work. It's not working with the wire it came, but it does work with this. Let me show you. If I plug this in, here, come on. Ta da! It works. Psych, it didn't work. <laughs> it tricked me because it was showing me high and Bluetooth. That was all the screen was showing. But <laughs> um, eventually, I realized. It wasn't working still. I mean, it was only flashing high and Bluetooth and that was it. I pressed buttons, it didn't work. I pressed on the, the button to turn it on and off, it didn't work. I tried the remote again, it didn't work. So I got frustrated. I threw both of them in the bin, got to uh, sending both companies uh, emails they both responded telling me to do specific stuff or certain stuff to make it work because i'm probably a noob and i don't know how to deal with them so i i sent them pictures with everything i did and they realized the amps were not working were damaged or broken or whatever ended up uh, being refunded from both companies which you know that's a positive but then uh, looking through some stuff of mine I found another power lead uh, exactly like the one the black amplifier needs so it got me thinking what if the power lead was defective so I pull it out of the bin again plug it in with that power lead the new one and <laughs> For a split second, it worked. It worked to the point where I was pressing buttons and it was doing it. It was changing modes, auxilia or line, uh, Bluetooth, radio, right? It got me thinking, I think it might be something broken inside. So I took it apart. I'm sorry, I didn't film that because I was, you know, <laughs> into issue. I took it apart and what do you know? The power inlet, was disconnected from the motherboard. It has two pins like that, that goes into the motherboard and they were not soldered into the motherboard. So flipped it over, soldered those pins. And what do you know, the amp works. This is the wire, yeah? So it goes from the socket all the way up to my hand and into it, right? And Ta -da. Sorry for that. 
So yeah, I made it work. Right now it does work, look. If you even, even press the mode button, Bluetooth, radio, auxiliary, which is line in. In any way, so I hooked up these two, that one in, the other one was on the other side. Over here. And the only disappointment I have with this is that through those speakers, it goes all range of, of sounds, highs, mids, and lows. But if you don't play it that loud, uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty good. Just forgot to mention two things. Even the remote works, look, mode, yeah. Even the remote works. That's one and two. I connected this amp through this to my receiver, yeah. And right now, these speakers are not working. They're not connected. So all you will hear right now is gonna be through those. So this is pretty much it. There's not much of a difference unless you are close to them and you turn them a bit lower uh, on the volume. Otherwise, like I said, all ranges of sounds will go through those speakers. And when that happens, if you turn it too loud, the sound will come distorted and doesn't sound good. We all know it, it blows up the, the speaker and everything, right? So the bass you can hear, you will hear only if you stand next to them. Otherwise, as you can see, I'm in the other room and it, it doesn't, doesn't do that much, right? So I'm only thinking about two things. One, that quality check wasn't made on these amplifiers or two they got damaged in the shipping because we all know that might happen as well but at the end of the day out of two at least i got one working the only uh, downside of it is i mean from my perspective uh, is that i need a crossover to have uh, those bigger speakers to take the, the low end of the sound and have them as subwoofers because I have the other ones which are taking the mids and highs and they are going perfect. They sound crisp and clear. So yeah, I only need the bass. So uh, I will start looking for some crossovers that I could use inside the house with this system. And if I can't find, I, I cannot do that. I will try making another sound system, a brand new one. I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll start from scratch, but we'll see. Stay tuned and you will find out. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being here, supporting the channel and have a great day. Bye. hear it? Not bad, huh? Yeah, so now we're gonna see how it sounds with 
the amplifier on.